I started by um, uh, trying to find out which the, what, what the most important um, species were that were being logged in Peru and exported to China. And the, there, were, there were a few species. One was called, uh, the, the Peruvian name is Chihuahuaco. These are all very, very hard woods, and they were especially in demand um, in the Chinese flooring markets. There had been a, f a relatively small number of companies, some of them relatively large, exporting to the United States or to specific European countries. With the Chinese market, there was a proliferation of much smaller companies involved in the market. Um, and this was, a lot, of, a lot of what was going on was happening in a very um, um, loose regulatory environment. Logging in Peruvian Amazon, there's, been a, there's always been a high level of um, informal extraction and illegality in, 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 in the timber trade in Peru. Um, but this exploded and diversified during the, the, the Chinese timber boom. Um, well, one, thing that's been, one thing that's happening is that the supplies of the species that were particularly um, attractive um, are, are diminishing. Uh, to look for these trees, logging companies would go far into the forest and build roads, especially to, to look for this species and one or two others um, that were um, in demand. Yeah. So the demand for these species was pushing expansion further and further into the forest. Over the past few years, there's, there, there have been big changes in how Peru deals with, well, Peru's commitments um, uh, in in dealing with international trade, um, one of the one of the big um, uh, um, instruments is the, was the United States Peru uh, Free Trade Agreement, in which Peru committed to addressing illegal logging within the country. Soon thereafter, China and Peru also signed, uh, Peru also signed a, a free trade agreement with China. And it's not as rigorously, the, 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 there, there's a, but there is a section about forestry in the Peru-China free trade agreement. And in that section, China commits to support research on sustainable forest management in Peru. China plans its economy um, and, and implements a five-year plan um, and the current five-year plan has targets, very serious targets for reduction of carbon emissions. Um, it's something that China, China could consider uh, looking at international forestry uh, as part of its own uh, carbon strategy. They certainly, if they haven't already, will be supporting projects, I'm sure, on, that are related to climate change because you can't separate um, climate forestry from, from climate change research anymore yeah. um, because of the importance of forests as a, um, as a uh, carbon sink um, and uh, that's becoming a, a central topic in, in COP and all of COP's negotiations and I'm sure China is um, very much aware and on top of that.